In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to install and use scripts in PaintShop Pro. If you're not familiar with what a script is, it's simply a collection of commands that will apply a series of effects or techniques to an image. Scripts are a fast and easy way to transform an ordinary image into something extraordinary with very little work on your part. An effect that could take you a long time to create is done in a matter of seconds by using a script. PaintShop Pro comes with many scripts that you can use, or you can also purchase more to add to your collection. There are scripts to enhance your photos, scripts to add unique creative look to photos, as well as scripts to create special photo projects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example of each and go over the basics of how to save a script that you've downloaded to your machine. Most scripts that you purchase should be saved to a special folder called Restricted Scripts. Located in your Documents folder, subfolder Corel PaintShop Pro, and then the version of PaintShop Pro you're using. You'll see a Restricted Scripts folder here. However, occasionally certain scripts will need to be saved somewhere else, like the Trusted Scripts folder. It's important to read the README file to know where your script is to be saved. Okay, let's get started. The first script I'm going to show you is a high-key black and white script. High key is a very popular photography style that uses lighting technique to get rid of shadows and add a bright, vibrant mode. With this script, you don't need to know how to set up key lighting. The script will create the effect for you. As you can see, I have PaintShop Pro opened on the edit window. I can either use the navigator panel to browse to the image that I want to work with, or I can just go to the file menu and select open and browse to the folder. I've already opened the image that I want to use, and now it's time to run the script. There's a couple of ways we can do this. First, from the File menu, down to Script, and select Run. Then it's simply a matter of picking the script that I want to run. Alternatively, if I right-click on a blank area, go to Toolbars, and select Script, this will open up my Script Toolbar. In here, you can see I can scroll through and look for whichever script I want. I'm going to grab my high key black and white. I want to make sure that I have toggle execution mode turned off. Now what the execution mode is, is it allows me to run a script silently or interactively. In a situation where a script requires intervention from the user, then you do not want to run it in silent mode. I'm simply going to click on the play and in a matter of seconds it's going to apply the high key black and white to this image. And that's all there is to it. Let's take a look at my second script. Now this second script will allow me to take a beautiful photograph and turn it into something that would look like an old aged painting. I'll open up the image and again from my script toolbar let me just dock this up here. I can hit the drop down. I'm going to select the script that I want to use. And again, it's simply a matter of clicking on the play or the run. So very quick, very easy to create a stunning effect of an old painted photograph in a matter of seconds. And finally, here's a third example of a fun photo project that you can do with the script. The film strip script was created by our friend and scrapbooking guru, Castle. This script will take anywhere from 4 to 12 photos and place them into a film strip template. It's a fun way to create a timeline or storyboard of a special event. And I wanted to show you this script in particular because there are a few differences in the way it works. As I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, it's very important for you to review the README file if one is included with your script. In this case, the README file tells me that I need to run the script first and then open my photos. Also, this script requires your input as it's working. So I wanted to show you so you could see what this would look like. I'm going to start by closing off these images. And now I'll run the script. Once I've selected the script, I'll simply click on the play button. Click OK to this dialog box. I'm going to dictate how many. I'm going to set the number of images that I'll use. In this example, I'm going to use five. And I'll click OK. Here I have the ability to set the orientation of the image. I'm going to go horizontal. And now it's creating the film strip for me. 
Once this process is complete, I'll open up the images. And then from my Windows menu, I'm going to go back to my main image and I'll continue running the script. And that's all there is to it. So I guess you can see how using scripts can really improve the experience and at the same time create some stunning artwork. What type of projects will you be using it in? Let us and other Paint Shop Pro users know by leaving a comment. Did you like this video? If so, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials just like this one. Oh, and if you're looking for even more resources such as photography tips, contests, written tutorials, go to learn.corel.com and sign up for exclusive email updates. Thanks for watching.